Greetings, Dapplings, and welcome back for another episode of Going Medieval. It seems this game has captured the imaginations of quite a few of you, so we're going to be here for at least an episode or two more, I think. Now, currently, our colony is busy with setting up the defences around the colony, though actually probably uh, that will take a little bit of time, because we did set up a bunch of jobs for them to do, right uh, following, or rather right towards the end of the last uh, episode following the, uh, following the raid. We've got a bunch of flooring jobs and still yet a bunch of building jobs as well as a, a few hunting jobs I believe I think uh, we've got uh, Russell out here hunting down a deer on that note we are going to need to remove some of the more of these ramps because they do allow enemies to get up here which means that they can get up here which means that they can get in here and eventually down into the settlement so uh, we are going to have to be a little bit more mindful of that so let's go ahead and sort that problem out right away but aside from uh, ensuring that the keep is enclosed uh, we are going to want to focus on getting a, uh, a cellar up and running relatively soon we have plenty of time until winter comes and in winter having food up on the surface as long as it's you know under a roof is actually fine but uh, we do want a dedicated spot to save uh, or rather to store our, our meals and especially with summer right around the corner a cellar is going to be ideal because uh, things won't last long they really really won't last long and perhaps even expanding this out to have a uh, dedicated kitchen would be would be quite nice uh, we'll have to have a look at that one i could easily move this building all the way across to the uh, wall here for example that would, uh, that would definitely work but we've got a fair bit of work to do right now manu is uh, manning the research table uh, dr lady tara is sorting out the plants currently planting a bunch of carrots we have got uh, Russell currently digging up the ramps. Thank you very much, Russell. And Belial delivering, or, or was delivering some wood, I believe. Ah, uh, just now pulling in some sticks. On that note, let's uh, just double check on the jobs. Yeah, hauling is where it needs to be. So, for the time being, we've got a little bit of time to pass, so I'm going to bring you back in a few seconds, where we will hopefully have finished the majority of this building work. So, see you very, very soon. Okay, now, as you can see, we have very nearly finished all of the uh, keeps defenses. We've also finished most of the flooring down here. Again, we, I've left these parts clear because I intend to shift this whole room um, laterally by one tile. Uh, we have had to chop down quite a few trees around this area in order to get all the materials, but I think it was all for ultimately a very, very good cause. Interestingly, uh, Dr. Lady Terra and I believe it was... Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, there was uh, Manu celebrated their birthday. I didn't manage to catch her on camera, but uh, yes, they both celebrated their birthday. So happy birthday to both of you. Let us hope that unlike a certain survival slash colony game, that uh, birthdays aren't nearly as bloody scary in this as they are in that one. I don't want any of you to have a dementia right now, please and thank you. Right, so with that done, uh, are there any other... Well, we've got loads of, of uh, materials to bring in, but I think we can start planning our, our move for the religious shrines. I, I think that should be a solid one right now. And I'm thinking we don't really need as much room in here as I am allocating for it. We can probably get by with a bit less. Uh, so, well, that being said, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe maybe we should uh, accept as much room as we can. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But either way, we need to expand out the walls at the very, very least. So let's do that right now. There we go. And further to that, I'm thinking we are going to want... I kind of want to expand out the the uh, bedroom as well, if I'm perfectly uh, honest with you. Let's uh, expand her out about that much. I just want another bit of room for a bed there. But additionally, we're going to have to start thinking of adding in maybe a little area for convalescence. Like, a, like basically a hospital area. I think that might be quite useful. Uh, and this one, sure, we'll, we'll do away with that as well. And we are going to want some windows back here. One there. We'll have how many beds? Potentially three beds in here. This can also double as a as a uh, a room if we don't need anyone uh, anyone resting up. We can also make that into a bedroom, so that would actually be quite useful as well. 
Uh, with our peeps right now. Oh, fantastic. You finished this area. Okay, well, the next thing then for us to do is to look at popping in some of these. Now, how is that one going to connect? Unfortunately, it connects in both directions. I mean, I guess I could put it here, but it doesn't really make any sense. Maybe I'm just going to have to do without that one. Do without the walls. And we'll just have this uh, raised platform from whence our archers can attack our foes. That being said, I could build it up uh, an extra layer as well. Maybe put a little bit of a gatehouse on it. Mm, we'll think about that one. We'll think about that one. Uh, for this time being, though, I do want some more spike traps. Namely, just outside of the uh, new door areas. We'll get a couple of spike traps around in here. Something like this. There we go. And then two just in there as well. Just enough to catch any uh, anyone trying to break in through the front doors. Right, how's everyone doing? Now, we should have enough research, actually, to start considering a couple of things. We could look at preserving food. It would allow us to smoke meat, which, honestly, Maybe a really good way of putting aside plenty of uh, food for the winter. Uh, we can look at tailoring to get our peeps some better clothes and also to get rid of clothes that are no longer worth having. We can have a look at brewing if we really want to. And I mean, how close are we? How much ale do we still have? If any, in fact, we have no ale. Well, I think that's just made a, a decision for us. Do I have any... I've only got herbs. Okay, we're going to have to start planting some grains then, because I think it is time, indeed, for us to get brewing. As much as I would like some furniture, I think brewing is what our people are going to want the most. Uh, that will allow us to make ale, beer, and indeed rough wine. In fact, we can make one of those already. So let's go ahead and unlock brewing. That one's going to require a new brewing stand. Uh, for the time being, we haven't got many spots that we can place these down. So I'm thinking maybe something around here. Once this room is moved back, I'm, I'm thinking of having a little, little brewing slash cooked house just on the side here would be uh, would be a nice setup. Let's let's plan this out though. Now the brewing stand I believe is a three wide building, so it's actually quite a large one. Uh, we can have that one. If we imagine it right now, we'll remove this wall, for example. We'd have the brewing stand kind of nestled in there. And maybe the uh, the campfire right beside it. It doesn't need to be particularly large, this place. It just needs to be able to fit these uh, devices in. I might not even put a full wall around it. We might just go for an overhang just to keep it, uh, keep it indoors. And we could then have the cellar somewhere around. Ooh, actually, I like that idea. Grab the cellar somewhere around here. Hmm. And to that end, let's go ahead and start preparing said cellar. Let's do something along these lines. We'll uh, start taking that down right now. Ultimately, this is going to be one of the bigger bigger concerns, getting that cellar up and running. Right, okay, so we're still on the fastest possible speed. Good, 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 because we've got plenty of work to do. And we've got a, a load more writing that needs to be done as well, sadly. Uh, for now, though, our peeps should be able to entertain themselves and satisfy their religious needs at the very least. So uh, this was a bit, of a bit of an update on how our buildings are going, and I shall bring you back when there is more to report. Okay, it's coming up to 8 p.m. right now on day 12, and we have managed to excavate, or rather, remove the uh, walls over here. So we can, at the very least, go ahead and place down our brewing station. Now, before I do that, I do want to make sure that there's going to be suitable floors over here. And I'm thinking we're going to go with wicker floors for this little area. Um, so let's at least get the floors down where I'm going to be placing the brewing station. And then we'll place the brewing stand as well. But as you can see down here, we've managed to remove, uh, or rather build the walls. I haven't yet removed this wall, but uh, we're going to want some wooden floors in here as well. Let's place those down. We'll also want some wooden floors in here, but uh, it'll take us a little bit longer to get all of that set up. Now, this room will, as with the uh, with the bedroom, it will require a bit of heating. So let's get another clay brazier. We should have more than enough materials for that. Yes, we've got plenty of materials for it, in fact. So I'll plop that down right there. Do I want a, a wall torch as well? Hmm... Actually, I don't think we, we specifically need one, but I'm going to place one anyway, just because I think it'll look quite nice. Now, 
Hmm. If I place that there, it's going to be right above one of the uh, one of the beds. So may maybe not actually. On on second thought, let's take that wall torch down. Uh, what kind of roofing do we want here? Well, we definitely want some warm roofing for any of the uh, sick peeps who are trying to recover in there. So let's uh, get these down as well. And once all of that is done, we'll be able to set up a uh, a room for covalescence. Uh, let's have a look. Are there, are, is there a hospital area? No, it doesn't look like. It doesn't look like. Well, you know, that's that's fine for now then. Uh, again, we can possibly use this as a prisoner room as well when the time comes. Let's uh, go ahead. Well, you know what? We're going to hold off on, on building that just yet. How are we doing with research? In fact, the next research point Manu, if you can get that done nice and fast, we may be able to start putting down some proper beds. I think that would be very nice. Very, very nice for someone, at the very least. Saddlers are exhausted. Well, Al, you're always exhausted. Which means that I'm not giving you enough time to sleep. This is not your fault, Bilal. It's mine. Hmm. But you've got as much... Well, okay, look. I'm... You can't say fair in this. This goes against my better judgment. I hope you appreciate this. Giving you this much time, it's going to teach you to be slovenly. No, no, no. How can you expect to do to do good work when you waste half the day in bed pretending to be dead? My lord, nevertheless, I will allow it this once, because you, to be fair, Bilal is actually working really hard. Really hard. As is Russell. Russell and Bilal are doing the majority of the construction, and uh, the amount of construction I keep giving them is, is no no small task. Right, summer is here. Summer appeared like a warm blessing, coaxing the settlers to shed their warm clothing. Now is the time to build underground storage to keep food fresh for uh, in the sunny days to come. Well, yeah, we're working on that one, okay? We're working on it. Uh, currently, we, we've got all apparel. Hopefully, no one's going to start suffering from that, but uh, we will see. Now, we have finished placing down the wicker floor over here, which is great. Let's go ahead and coax in a little a brewing stand right about there, I think should be good. Let's get that going. Now, it's going to be outdoors to begin with, and that does suck, but uh, it is what it is sadly and we'll just have to we'll just have to wait on that one and hopefully be able to get that all properly finished off there we go let's get this on the go chop chop now that little room there is completely sealed off and we don't want that we want to expose this so let's get all of that removed and further to that i actually want to now replace the roofing here and since everyone is up now is the right time to do that. So let's replace this roofing with the warmer roofing. Not that it really is going to be uh, something they want right now, given that it... Did that go through? No, there we are. Given that it is actually uh, summer, so now is the time for the cooler roofing. Nevertheless, we're going to do it this way. Right, okay, let's have a look at what's required. Rough wine is going to take uh, 20 red currants and will produce 10 rough wine. The ale will take 20 barley and five fuel, and we'll produce 10 ale and 25 ash. And beer will take 20 barley and five herbs. So the the material we use for, for medicine as well. Now that is, I mean, it's okay. Uh, I would prefer to set this up. Now I'm, I'm assuming the beer is better. I'm not at all certain about this, but uh, nevertheless, we're going to set this up. Do until you have, let's say 30 beer. And once you've got that, go ahead and make 30 rough wine. And finally, once you've done that, make 30 ale. Generally speaking, if we can make beer, I want to make beer. If we can't, because we don't have the, the herbs, then make ale instead. That'll do fine for us. All right, let's copy this all over. There you go. And copy this down as well there we are that will be uh, a nice little area a bunkhouse there a bunkhouse here now we've we've got, now got the potential of quite a lot more people here we've also got the potential to have some prisoners or just a hospital as uh, as needs be now i'm thinking that uh, following this we really do now need to focus on getting the the uh, rooms shunted across a little bit 
and this opened up properly for a seller. So that's probably going to be my next focus. Currently, I'm trying to maintain 20 meals because honestly, a lot of our materials are just uh, just rotting away in storage, which is actually quite, quite uh, frustrating. Uh, we're going to need a little bit more, more hay, though. Let's have a look around. There should be a decent amount of hay around somewhere. There we go. We've got some down here. Let's go ahead and gather this if we can. Please and thank you. Same over here, if you would be so kind. No, we can't get that one. Okay, fair enough. How about... Oh, wait. No, we're just too far away. It doesn't show the icons if you're zoomed out too much, I've noticed, which is a little bit uh, a little bit um, confusing sometimes. But there we go. That should be enough uh, hay to finish the, the, the thatching there, hopefully. All right. Okay. Now then, Belial, uh, what are you going to be getting up to straight away? Oh, you're still preparing meals. Uh, okay, well, we've got a, a few more meals that we need to prepare. One more preparation and we should be good. Oh, you're starting on the rough wine. Fantastic news. Absolutely fantastic news, in fact. We've got plenty of red currants around, so sure, I'm going to set that, more of these up to be harvested. We've got so many red currants over there. Absolute ridiculous amounts. We've also got red currants being uh, prepared over here. Maximum yield is going to be in four days. That'll be our first yield there. Four days for the beets. We've got two days for the carrots, one day for the cabbage, and three days for the herbs. Not too bad at all. Stew has rotted on the stockpile. Hmm. I do dislike that. I do. I think maybe I actually will tell this to uh, calm down a little bit and only produce ten. Uh, as for you... I think we need to uh, set you to butcher that carcass. Now, I am interested to see what will happen to a carcass that has lost m uh, a lot of its freshness. It's only down to 16% freshness. Will the meat be 16% fresh? Uh, one would assume it should be, but that isn't always the way it works in games. Not always the way it works. Uh, we will see very, very soon, I imagine. Uh, well, I'm going to hang around and, and watch. Oh, well, actually, it is night time now, so I suppose uh, everyone will instead be heading to bed, but we should have our first uh, our first batch of rough wine ready ever so soon. Oh, the cabbage is being harvested. Okay, now we, now we really, really need that basement because we are going to waste an entire harvest of cabbage otherwise. Uh, the problems with not having that already set up. The problems with not having that already set up. Uh, okay, well, some things we need to do then. Let's start work on it. We are going to need to deconstruct these. I'll move the Oak Bre uh, Brethren Shrine over first, and then move the wall back. But we can already get rid of the torches, though. So let's do that. Uh, we can already get rid of the roof as well, since the roof isn't going to need to be there. I'll do this room first, and we are going to leave the uh, the other shrine for a while. Uh, simply because... Oh, of course, yeah, when they remove the walls, it automatically... No, what are you... No, what have I told you to remove? Why? <sighs> that is most vexing. Cancel that job. Russell, can you do something else? Draft it. Undrafted. Ah, oh, thank goodness. It appears that I almost accidentally pulled apart your uh, entertainment there. I do apologize, Russell. Uh, let's try and get all of this moved across, though, as quickly as we can. Uh, did you finish the job? No. Okay. Looks like looks like they did actually remove the roof instead of the, uh, the entertainment. All right. Let's try and get this all built up. If we can, that would be amazing. Uh, we can now remove this as well. Let's get that down. And then we can finish off these walls as well. So let's pull that all the way across. In fact, no, I think I think this should be should be good enough. Let's let's go ahead and get all of that built up this way. There we go. In fact, we could even have some. Yeah, I think maybe having some windows there would actually be quite nice. So let's replace these with windows instead. I know I only just told you to build it, and I do apologize. Let's get this sorted now. There we go. And we'll get two windows in. And there. Uh, we don't want the window straight into the cook area, though. Let's get rid of that one. Right, there we go. And next up, we want a roof. This roof can... Should we go for that roof? No, actually, I think we'll go for a wicker roof here. 
In many ways, I feel that a wicker roof is more appropriate for the uh, for the particular shrine that we're dealing with. The Oak Brethren Shrine, I feel, will benefit from that one. Alright, there we go. Now, I don't want to just dig down willy-nilly. I want to dig carefully so that they don't end up make, blocking their own way to get to the stairs. So that's what we're going to do there first. I also need to pop back in the torches as well. So let's get those down. There we go. Then there, there, that'll do wonderfully. Right, everything else is a go. However, I believe we now have enough research for furniture. So let's unlock that. There we go. Now, we can replace these beds with proper beds. Oh. Oh. I did not plan for this. They are significantly larger. Huh. Right, okay. We can still make this work, but I am going to have to move this, though. Having that in front of a window is not exactly the smartest move, really. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to replace this one with the window and put a wall there. We're going to lose the roof, sadly, but uh, it is what it is. Let's remove all of these. We're going to replace them all with proper beds. However, over here, we're going to have less beds. Possibly only... Hmm, I really hadn't, hadn't thought this through. Uh, we could get by with two beds for the hospital and a clay brazier right there. Yeah, I think that'll, that'll work out. I hadn't considered that the beds would be big. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, hadn't considered the clay bed. Uh, sorry, the uh, proper beds would be that much bigger. Uh, it's a bit of a potch, but we can make it work. I think we can make it work. There we go. And then we'll uh, pop the roof back. A hopeful helpmate. Alric appear, approached with his hands held out and a warm, open smile. Alric was keen to learn about woven tales and only too willing to lend a hand. All he asked for was a safe place to call home. Uh, we're not going to slam the door on Alric. Alric seems like a nice fella. Let's have a look here, then. Uh, botany. Okay, good farmer. Okay, culinary. Decent speechcraft, decent tailoring. I mean, well, it's passionate tailoring, not actually decent tailoring. Not very good at it at all, in fact. But, okay, we're going to take uh, Alric here into Woven Tales. Marvellous. Hello, Alric. Now, before you get down to too much work, we need a few bits of information about you, starting with your name. And everyone, give a warm welcome to Pepster. I hope your time with us in this colony will be wonderful, and thank you ever so much for the patron support, mate. Now, let's learn a little bit more about you. You're a confident herbalist. Having once seen a copy of De Materia Medica at Oxford, Pepsa became a lifelong devotee of Dioscorides. Oh, okay, fair enough. A bit of a physician come botanist, then. Uh, blending this with the teachings of his mentor, an elder... Oh, okay, so... Right, of course, of course, yeah, a few centuries too late for <laughs> actually being mentored by Dioscorides. Uh, an elderly nun and plantswoman, Pepster felt confident in pr uh, pronouncing upon botanical matters. In the wake of death and terror, the noble marches and forests became pretty much fair game, so Pepster now poaches with impunity. He will catch what you want to order. Venison, boar, rabbit, peacock. Naturally, this comes at a price, though. Okay, fair enough. And uh, pseudonym, the Riddler of Salkat Converley. Okay, so a bit of a... You've had a bit of a stint in Essex, then. Uh, some people talk straight, but Pepsa had a way with words that certainly sounded clever, but was also a trifle confusing. Many of Pepsa's pronouncements could have multiple meanings. His friends called him the Riddler. Okay, fair enough. You're 48, uh, you weigh 71 kilos, and you're 154 uh, centimeters tall. You're a bit of a swigger. It's thirsty work. Perhaps they likes to drink on the job, and it makes him work faster. Oh, okay, so that's a, that's a benefit, then. Uh, robust Peps that appears unassailable, bouncing back swiftly from injuries that would put others in the grave. Hit point recovery, plus 15%, motor function, plus 10%, and wound regen. Wow, okay, that's actually pretty amazing. Sunseeker, Peps that comes alive when the sun is shining. A few golden rays is all it takes to bring out the best in him. And hot-blooded, Peps that seems to permanently... Uh to be permanently overheated, throwing open windows and shunning warm clothes. He should be kept cool. Okay, so uh, that's that's great. Hmm. Okay, well, let's drop all of this first. Set you to all headgear. 
everyone to all headgear, in fact. And I think we kind of now need to be on summer apparel, really. Whop. Oh, okay, we can't. We can't just uh, drag that down, unfortunately. Um, now, don't have any weapon for you, I don't think. Oh, actually, no. Tell a lie. Tell a lie. We've got a couple of weapons, thanks to our raider friends. Uh, let's have a quick gander in here. We've got. Well, we don't have a shield, I don't think. So, we might give you a flimsy... Well, no, flimsy wooden spear. Hmm. Honestly, I, I guess it doesn't matter. You can just grab all weapons then, I suppose. Uh, and we will set you up with all armor. You can grab whatever you can. On that note, uh, all armor will allow you to literally put anything on, it seems. Uh, why is all this down? I was certain that I set this up correctly, but okay. We'll, we'll set it to uh, 55 to 100 hit points on all armor. Uh, as for our... Ah, uh, right, of course, new system. It appears that my my presets were saved, and that, that they, uh, they are saved locally. So even though I've got the save file over, it hasn't brought the presets with it. That's a bit of a potch, I'm gonna be honest, but uh, okay. Well, let's quickly set up uh, a new one, and we'll call this Light Armor. There we go. And once again, we'll say 55 to 100 there for you. Uh, as for body armors, leather armor, um, uh, gambeson, and I guess wood armor? Well, hmm. No, I, I, th I, think, I think light armor should just be leather or gambeson. I, I don't think we're going to go with with wood armor. I feel that wood armor would be uh, particularly restrictive, honestly. Uh, let's make sure that uh, summer apparel is set to 55 and up. All headgear is set to 55 and up as well, and that should take care of things. Uh, everything else will leave as it is, and you can grab what you want. Now then, Peps, uh, let's have a look at your jobs. Honestly, your jobs are probably going to be fairly fairly simple to set up, so we're not going to worry too much about that one. Tending, you've actually not got bad medical skill. So I will give you a 4 instead of a 5. You will uh, convalesce at 2. Hunting, you, you've got a, an interest in it, but once again, I'm going to put hunting at a 5, generally speaking. Constructing, you are hopelessly bad at it. So I'm going to put it on a 5. Because you'll waste materials otherwise. Growing, though, you are primarily a grower. We will pop that down there. Mining on a 5. We will also... I'll actually... Plant cut can be on a 3. Because I want you to take care of the, the fields first. And then take care of manual things like chopping down trees. Cooking. You have some skill in it, so... Mm, no, I think we've got we've got enough people to take care of that. As for smithing, if you you don't have a passion for it, I don't really want you doing it. I will allow you to be a carpenter and a tailor since uh, you do have passions for those. And you, in fact, you're one of the only people we have in the colony with any kind of passion for this sort of work. Uh, at this point, I'm going to drop research down to five. So everyone who doesn't have some decent skill in it, you can have it on a four. Uh, and there we are. Uh, that's you all done. Now then, since you're more of a day person, let's copy this over and then just adjust it ever so slightly. There we go. Boom, boom. And one there. And then we can just follow up with a couple of everythings to even everything out. There we are. Perfect. Right. Everyone go about grabbing your stuff. Also, let's re- allow a bunch of things. <laughs> Again, it, it's always a little bit frustrating that uh, everything just gets dropped like that, but oh well. Now then, let's have a quick glance down here. Hopefully we can get all of this stuff uh, taken care of reasonably fast. We'll we'll have to see, though. There we go. Good. Let's pop this and uh, deconstruct that. Same here, please, and thank you. Now these beds, they're not cheap to make. We're actually going to need a bunch of... Uh, of uh, fiber for it as well, which is hmm, a little bit vexing, actually. I wasn't expecting to need it as much as we do. That, I should I should have been expecting it, though, because, I mean, let's be honest, we're, we're using thatching everywhere. Maybe I should switch over to sticks for the time being. They're largely the same thing when it comes to their, their insulation. Yeah, we might need that. 
Now, hopefully we did manage to get some back from the beds that we took apart. Uh, everyone's, everyone's naked. I mean, that is one way of keeping cool, yes, but I'm not entirely sure it is the best way of keeping cool. Bilal, I, I admire your, your self-serving nature there. It's like, look, there is a bed. I do a lot of hard work every day. I deserve the bed. I'm going to have this bed now. Russell, can you please at least wake up and go to bed? Go, go to bed. Oh, okay. Um, have some food first, then go to bed. No, okay. okay. Apparently, no. On the plus side, Blah's going to be very happy because technically he's sleeping in a private room right now. Ah, uh, make the make the the most of it, Bilal, uh, because it's not going to last. There we go. That will do. I'm so sorry, everyone else. How <laughs> about? In the nud, just sleeping on the grass. Oh, there we are. Peps has decided to grab that bed. Well, uh, I'm not sure how everyone else is going to feel. I mean, you're fairly new to the colony to reserve a bed for yourself. Personally, I think that uh, that shows great initiative. But at the same time, maybe we should make sure that these beds are made sooner rather than later. Because I can't imagine the rest of the colonists are going to be overly happy that they, ha they are having to sleep on the floor. They're going to be grumpy as sin. But let's actually have a look at Bilal. Slept in a nice bed. Uh, slept in own quarters. Ah, Bilal, Bilal is having a good time of it, of it right now. Well done, Bilal. Truly. Right, we've now got enough beds for the colony, though, and that's that's the main thing. But let's continue building these up and just make sure that we've got everything. Oh, actually, thinking about it, that one doesn't have a uh, proper, uh, proper roof on it right now, does it? So let's take care of that as well. So we want... Since we've already built this roof, let's just make sure it's all built of the same material. Otherwise, that will grate on my nerves. There we are. Fantastic. It's now a shared bedroom. But that's fine. Bilal is doing okay in uh, Bilal's clothes, but everyone else is in the nut. Uh, actually, no, no, no. Dr. Lady Terror, well done. Uh, I, mm, actually, is Dr. Lady Terror wearing anything, or is that just... How you appear when when you don't have it? No, you're not wearing anything at all. Uh, maybe maybe I should just say, look, put everything on. It's it's fine. It, 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 modesty is gonna come first for now. All right. We'll worry about having the right clothes for the right weather when we've actually got a tailor. But for now, I was really hoping that we had the correct clothes. But whatever, you it's up to you to choose to put the clothes on now if you want them. I imagine most of you will. But, uh, you know, it's on you if you overheat. I feel that I, I, I have done my duty, and what remains is, is you choosing poorly, or modestly. Uh, I, whichever one you really want to go for. Either way, we now have all of this done, so all that remains now is to wait for some mining. So I'm going to uh, pass a little bit of time, and hopefully, when you return, we'll be ready to dig out our basement. Okay, it looks like we're about to finish our way down. We've managed to collect now a little bit of limestone as well as a lot of clay. Now, with all of this taken care of down here, we can finally place down a stairs. Now, hmm, we don't have the limestone, but we do have the clay for a stairs, and I do kind of want to use up some of this material now. I'm undecided on whether we want a double door going down there or just a, a single stairway, but at this point it's now safe for us to excavate this later on if we want to. Alternatively, and actually thinking about it, hmm, we could have a, a little fence lining this. Yeah, you know what, I kind of like the idea of that, having a little fence there, just, uh, just to make sure that no one falls down the stairs, that would be marvellous. But at this point, we now need to go down in uh, the levels and start excavating underneath the building we've got here. Now, everywhere that we've placed the floor, there's going to be a ceiling. However, if we were to just straight up excavate out here, we would simply be exposing it to the open world. Uh, so we don't want to do that. We want to be very careful in our excavation. Now, for the most part, this place is going to be soil and not stone, so that will actually be very useful. So let's go ahead and make a room roughly the same dimensions as the uh, main eatery above. We'll place a door down here, and then this will be our dedicated food storage down below. We will probably add a couple of support beams, uh, I'm thinking around here, just to uh, support 
the roof above so it's not uh, the, the floorboards don't groan too aggressively every time you uh, try to move through the, uh, the room that would be a little bit precarious I'm gonna be honest uh, but let's also get ourselves a uh, cooking area just built it down there that'll be marvelous now are we actually storing the wine do we do we have the wine stored yet because one thing I'm not seeing is a bunch of wine being stored hmm. Where is the wine, then? Because we've definitely been making the stuff. Or at least to me, it appears that we have. Maybe we've just not been uh, getting enough of it. Uh, we'll, we'll see. E either that or... I, I hope it's not, not being generated and then just glitched out behind items. That would, that would actually be incredibly frustrating. Uh, let's go ahead and more or less copy this over. We just want to make meals until we've got 10, and for the time being, that can now be removed. So we want to set this one up, make meals until we have, uh, well, no, 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 not 21. 10 is more than good enough for us right now. But it looks like we've already gotten in there. Fantastic. Let's get ourselves a door so we can keep this place nice and cool. And we'll need to drop the uh, level again. If you can't see what I'm doing, I'm holding down control and using the mouse wheel to adjust the level of the world that I'm, I'm interacting with. So we'll pop a little door there. And there we go. This room should be quite nice and uh, and warm. Uh, sorry, and cool down here. If we have a look and zoom down. Well, actually, right now it's got a door there. But you can already see that the temperature is actually different from the outside. Uh, which is actually quite nice. Uh, well, actually, no, outside it's 20, 26. Where, where is it? 29. Oh, in the rooms there, of course. That makes that makes a lot of sense where we've got bunches of torches. But we should see that uh, as we excavate this area out, this area will, will maintain a uh, lower temperature than the outside world. And that is exactly what we need right now because everything is, is rotting rather quickly. We've got a bunch of red currant plants that will rot reasonably soon. Oh, are we collecting carrots for the first time? We are indeed. Oh, well, that's very nice. Very, very, very nice. We've got a door there now. Okay, well, things are going reasonably well. We can see the progress that they're making uh, based on uh, which floor tiles don't have a mining symbol underneath them, or rather over the top of them. And generally speaking, I think we're now in a position where our immediate food concerns have been addressed. I don't suspect that we're going to have much trouble at this point keeping ourselves fed. But let's go ahead and zoom all the way down. And again, remember that it's not just temperature that causes things to... Oh, there we are. 0 0.4 degrees inside, 22 degrees outside. Ah, perfect. We've actually got a, uh, a proper cellar set, being set up now. Let's make a default stockpile. I'm going to draw this out. Uh, let's clear all. I want carcasses. Animal carcasses, not the bones though. Don't put the bones down here. And we want pretty much all food. There we go. And possibly medicine as well. Material herbs. Sure. Let's uh, let's get the healing kits as well in there. Uh, we'll also take vinegar, salt. Is there anything else we're gonna want? Mm, no. I think we're good. All right. Now then, we are absolutely going to need this place floored. Uh, so let's use some wicker flooring down there, since it'll give us a use for all of the the, the sticks that we've got. There we go. Hopefully we can get that done reasonably fast. Yeah, we've got plenty of sticks down there, so that shouldn't be too bad. And at this stage, we now want to remove all of the things that we just told them that they could, they could store down below, because we really just only want it going there. So the salt and the vinegar, the herbs, the simple healing and advanced healing kits, all food, and animal carcasses. Everything else goes down below. There we go. That should be marvellous. We're making some decent progress in there, actually. Yeah, I'm actually really, really happy with that. Okay, well, as you saw, the temperature difference is actually quite stark down there, and that's going to allow us to keep our food for a much longer time. Let's see if they've actually stored much so we can have a straight comparison. In this room, it is currently 2.6 degrees. So the carrots down here are never going to rot. Nor will the red currant piles. They are there forever now. Out here, however, well, that one's going to rot just because it's not on proper ground. But 
eight days on those carrots, four days on the red carrots. I mean, it's it's only 17 degrees outside, but uh, that is a an amazing, amazing difference there. That will definitely allow us to keep most of the food that we're going to be growing through the summer and a little bit into the autumn before winter arrives. We'll probably have to expand this out, and I imagine we're going to uh, burrow this underneath these two rooms as well. And we might even extend these rooms backwards a little bit, maybe even create uh, uh, specialist rooms just off this. I'm not sure, but we definitely need to get a much, much larger, um, a much larger uh, cellar there as well. But I think that is going to be where we're wrapping up today's episode. We've managed to add another member to the colony. We've managed to expand out the sleeping quarters quite significantly, actually. And uh, these ones we can use for healing or... I mean, there's no specific difference between a healing cot and a regular cot at the moment, but uh, we might be able to use it for, for prisoners in the future. I'm not even sure if you can capture prisoners or if just straight up these are just uh, regular beds. Either way, I like having two separate rooms because it brings us that much closer to having individual rooms, which our colonists will be ever so thankful for. But the main, the main bit of advancement in today's episode is we've finished off the defenses, we've completely enclosed the keep, and we actually have the beginnings of a cellar going in underneath the main hall. But that is going to be it from me. I really do hope you've enjoyed today's episode and as ever if you would like to see more then do leave me a like down below or a comment to that effect and we'll see what we can do but that is going to be it for today so until next time and as always do take care everyone